This week, we're doing exercise 5 of flower sack waving. And if you're interested in doing the same thing, stay tuned. So before we get into actually creating a flower sack waving animation, I want to show you what a flower sack even has to do with animation or drawing for that matter. Here I have a picture of the male torso and even though you might be very familiar with uh, what the male torso looks like, you've probably never thought of it in terms of a flower sack. Now as I draw this, you can see that even though this is a square, it has a lot of volume in it. The upper parts of the flower sack are the inherent shoulders and maybe the little flaps can be the hands as well as the bottom part can be the belly or the stomach and the little flaps on the bottom are the feet. And this is essentially a very simple character. Like this is the basics of what your character animation is going to be. And as I continue to draw, I'm just showing you the various poses of what you can do with this very simple body. Um, so if you want to warm up, you can even look at gestures and, or I'm sorry, if you want to warm up, you can look at people posing and try to translate that to flower sacks and how you would animate that or portray whatever that person is portraying with the simplicity of a flower sack body. Now, let's get into what it's like to animate this flower sack. So basically what I started with is I wanted to start the animation with a flower sack waving and I wanted to start low so I could create a beautiful arc. And I found a quick tip to do this is to actually draw the arc that I wanted the hand to wave along to make sure it was fluid. Um, so. The first thing I did was draw an arc. The second thing I wanted to work on or fix was actually what I wanted them to do. Now I knew I wanted the wave to start low and then I wanted the wave to continue high and after I got that idea down I went ahead and I decided Basically, I originally I made a mistake and I went straight ahead with this animation. And what happened after I finished doing straight ahead, and now it's just a lesson learned, is I lost the model. So as I continued to animate, it would start off fat and chubby and then it would shrink. And that was a problem. And so I reached a dilemma of am I going to redraw this whole animation to make it work? And I ended up solving that problem by basically sliding over the fl frames that I did that were working and I decided to right next to it do the whole animation over again but making sure that I concentrated on staying on model. And this is why using pose to pose is sometimes better then straight ahead is because you're not going to lose sight of what your model is looking like. So that's a lesson learned. Hopefully when you guys do this animation, you can avoid it. <clears throat> Don't fall for my mistake. Um, my three tips for completing this animation is draw your overlying arc first. Then draw your pose to pose, your key frames um, to get the whole Bas the basic idea of the wave and then the next thing is check that you're uh, staying on model as much as you can and the last just have fun with it this was a 
Uh, ultimately, it only took me about 45 minutes to draw the frames, but it took me another 45 minutes to redraw the frames because I did not do these um, hints initially. So don't be like me. <laughs> Take the three hints that I'm giving you and then let me know how this works out for you guys. Uh, did you have the same problem I did without even realizing it? Or did you pass with flying colors? This is exercise five, a flower sack waving. And hopefully you had more fun than I had, but eventually I did have a lot of fun doing this exercise. Now, the next exercise for next week is going to be a jumping flower sack. So make sure you practice those flower sack drawings because we are about to do uh, some serious action, <laughs> so to speak, with our flower sacks next week. Make sure you're tuning in. Please like and subscribe. Share this video with other future animators. Um, or if you already know some animators that just need a little extra help, just share it with them. And please, let me know what you guys think.